So in this video, we're going to take a look at this lead forming tool. I found this up on uh, Amazon. I think you can find them on eBay as well. Uh, at first, I thought they were 3D printed. This one actually isn't 3D printed. It's molded, and, and they've done a good job with the molding. I'm very happy with it. I haven't tried it yet, but it's basically got, I put the labels on myself, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 widths. And then inside, in some of these larger ones, you can see that it's V-shaped here. So the size of the component would dictate which spot you would use here for 0.6 to help keep the package centered. You've seen me use these before uh, in the assembly of the triple five, this guy. Uh, I used the 0.4 down here, but I had trouble keeping the resistor well centered in it, uh, which is kind of evident. And I mean, they're not too bad, but they're, they're not perfectly well centered. If we're going to build the 741 uh, op amp here in a different video, but I thought we'd give this a play and see if it would be usable for this. So they're obviously not, not 0.3, they might, they're 0.4. So there's not a huge amount of variation in the widths on 0.4. Uh, but you know, a resistor drops right in there. That's very well centered. I do like the way that turned out. Let's get it into the board. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is perfect. These are a little bit softer lead. They actually do get narrower, so you can't see it, but he just fits there. He doesn't fit in any other spots. So they do get slightly narrower, so they do deal with slight, you know, differences in the package. Uh, Again, that one looks really nice. These are even softer leads on this resistor. I've gone from steel to something very springy, but softer. So let's see what this resistor goes in like. Oh, they just drop in and they are well centered. I am very happy with this at this point. Those resistors couldn't be more perfect. I mean, obviously they could, but for manual bending and insertion, they are excellent looking. The leads don't have a real sharp bend to them, so there's a, been a nice stress relief created. This hands down for these resistors is far better than trying to use either this guy or this guy, because I have trouble keeping the resistor centered. And, and I hate it when, you know, the bend in one leads further from the side, or from the package, and the one on the other side. So, and like I say, now that I've actually dropped resistors in here on 0.4, there is a difference in width. It's much more apparent here on like the 0.5. I will put a link to this on Amazon. It was over $10 US, I think, with shipping, so it's spendy for a piece of plastic. But it's, it's injection molded. It's solid. It feels good in the hand. It's not like it's a 3D printed mess. Uh, I recommend it. If you struggle with these or don't have a set of these, this might be really good for you know most resistors, that kind of stuff. So uh, there's no manufacturer marking, so I can't tell you in the video here who made it, but it'll be in the, it'll be in the video description notes so uh anyhow i thought we'd do a quick and look at that and either endorse it or say nope happy with it gonna be very useful i'll see you in the next video